Welcome to the channel, my name is Will. As you can see here, I have the Moser Racing SRP light pedals. When I reviewed the R5 bundle, I was disappointed with these pedals because of the torsion spring on the brake pedal. But Moser, I've took this on board and I've launched an upgrade for the brake. So here it is, the SRP light brake pedal performance kit. You can purchase this kit for £29. I'll get this installed and see how much of a difference it makes. The installation is very simple. The two small caps go on each end of the top piece. Then the top piece just slides into the back of the pedal. There's a metal rod that slides through the top piece to attach it to the pedal. Inside the kit, there's an Allen key and two small screws provided to attach this. Once the rod is flush on both sides, the two screws go on either side. Then the screws can be tightened with the Allen key. Next the spring goes on first, then the washer, then the rubber stop, and finally the bottom piece. Then the spring just sits in the groove with a little push and it's on. I found with the brake kit on it was basically impossible to operate the pedals on the carpet. Because of this the pedals do need to be mounted to a rig. Once everything is hooked up, the pedals now need to be calibrated which I'll go through now. In the Moser app, click the pedals icon. Then on the brake, press start calibration. During the calibration, press the brake pedal on and off to its full travel. Once the calibration is completed on the brake pedal, you can follow the same step on the throttle pedal. If you have a clutch, that can also be calibrated. With the calibration done, I'll now move on to some gameplay and test this out. Already before I even get in game, this pedal feels much, much better. Whereas before, with just a torsion spring, it felt more like a throttle pedal. It was very light and just didn't feel very realistic at all. And just like I said in the review, this was the biggest issue I had with the R5. Other than the brake pedal, I really couldn't fault the R5. It's probably the best on the market for the price. So my thoughts on this upgrade for the brake. The brake now feels a lot more realistic. When I first press the pedal, I can feel the spring, which feels quite firm. But then when I get further, I can feel that rubber stop. And this gives it a much more realistic feel. For the sake of an extra £29, this is definitely a must if you buy the R5. Definitely recommend the brake performance kit. Before I end the video, I just want to say I apologise for the loud music in the last review. I did get a few comments about it. So obviously this time I haven't used any music. I do appreciate all the feedback. I hope this video was helpful. Please give a like. Thanks for watching.